Yes, we're live. Hi, everyone, and welcome again to an edition of Coffee with Craig, where I, as a psychic medium, uh, look at the future and see and particularly look at topical events and what's going on. And today I'm going to talk a bit about Donald Trump, um, particularly with the upcoming indictment. Uh, this uh, video is being made on the 31st of March, uh, 2023. And I'll be making a few predictions in this show, but also taking your questions. What do you think about the indictment of Donald Trump? What questions do you want to ask about this? What are your thoughts and uh, where do you think it's going? And I'm going to give you a few of my thoughts about where I feel it's going, a few of my predictions and hopefully some uh, correct psychic insights into what's going on. So welcome to Coffee with Craig. <laughs> Well, hi, everyone, and welcome to the show. And I know some of you are already coming in live, um, so we're, I'll take some of your questions later on. But I'm just going to tell you a few of my thoughts first. And just for those that are coming into this video late or even years late, um, we're making this uh, predictions on the uh, 31st of um, March uh, 2023. Um, and this is a time when Trump has been indicted or about to be indicted. Um, for a misdemeanor, as it were, at the moment, or is it a felony? And uh, uh, they, this is all over the um, hush money, the, the 130,000 hush money uh, that was uh, um, given by uh, Michael Cohen, isn't it? Um, handed over in cash. And they're saying, basically, that, um, you know, OK, it's allowed to give hush money, um, but you've got to get your accounting right. And uh, you're counting the money must not come out of um, uh, your campaign funds. So that, as, as I understand it, as an English person, that's what they're trying to get him on. They're trying to get him on something small. Um, well, actually, it depends how you look at it. Um, it, it. They're trying to get him. They can't get him on the big stuff because the big stuff coming up um, is going to be. We got, for example, uh, the 2020 um, Georgia election alleged bribe. Uh, we've got the uh, insurrection of January uh, the 6th, uh, which they're also wanting to, to to do him on. And also the classified documents that they grabbed at Margo Lago. So we've got all that going on in the background here. And probably more. They're probably we're getting rain hitting on the ceiling here as I'm talking. So hopefully it doesn't interrupt us too much. But they've got all this going on. They, 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 they're out to get him aren't they? They are absolutely out to get him. We don't get him one way, we'll get him another. And this way, we might better get him, first of all, in an accountancy type thing, because, OK, we might be able to prove this or prove that. But if we can say that the funds were badly um, used, that it's not an misdemeanor, that it's more than that, we can turn this into a felony. Um, uh, we've got him. All we need for Trump, say his enemies, is we need to have um, a criminal record, even if it's a small one, even if he don't serve any time, even if he if nothing comes from it, as long as he's got a criminal record, we can say we can't have a criminal standing in 2024. So uh, I think anybody um, can see that this is a stitch up. Um, you know, I, and I'm not... <laughs> I don't have, I can't have political bias on this. I don't come. I couldn't vote in America. I'm, I'm British living in, in, in England, you know. Um, so is there's no skin off my nose who wins there ultimately. But I mean, I do see and I think most people around the world are beginning to say, hey, this is getting a little bit out of hand in there. This is getting a little bit dodgy. You know, um, people are messing with democracy 
And although a lot of people would say, oh, well, it's they've gone too far with all this election fraud business and postal voting things. But I mean, we just today here in the UK, because um, our local um, uh, our local guys, uh, uh, they're talking about election. They're trying to get us to um do postal voting. We're getting postal voting stuff pushed through by the opposition to the people, one of the parties, because they know younger people are more likely to vote on a postal vote than they are actually to drag themselves down to the postal um, post office, uh, the post, the voting booths. From what I was saying, uh, you know, listen to me, I get my words wrong. But you know, it's like. Uh, they know they've got to take ID and things like that. So it's easier to get them to go down. You don't have to take ID with postal vote. So even here in the UK, I, I can see today coming through my post, politicians trying to interfere with the voting intentions of people by trying to make it easy for them. You know, imagine if it was all done online. Anyway, some of this, though, reminds me of the trial by Franz Kafka. Guilty before proven um innocent you know you're guilty of a crime you don't know what, what you've committed you know we're going to open the envelope is it a felony or is it a misdemeanor you know and the rest of us are all kept in the dark of course the actual people who are going to vote for all these people in the future well not me but like all of you americans particularly all kept in the dark as as we find out whether one of the uh, a, a candidate for presidency who is rising in popularity very quickly um again it is is going to be people are going to be allowed to vote for him or have to vote to him even in jail you know um and one of my i also you remember some of my earlier predictions about santez too i said that um he donald trump <laughs> had your job on him and, and he would fall from grace very quickly i mean he's fallen to the wayside very quickly now he i, I don't think he's going to be um a serious contender to trump I see Trump all the way for the Republicans. So I see him as the future um, candidate in 2024. And that's what this is all about that we're getting at the moment. This is why all this is being dragged to the surface um, and the, the desperation to try to get um, uh, a political hit on this. And, and it's frankly, I think it's absolutely shocking. And um, no, OK, so it, it's kind of very much in align with some of the um, things that I've been saying already, first and foremost, because I said, if you look back at my predictions, I've been saying that there's going to be an unusual situation around the 2024 election, because I kind of saw Trump not able to stand, but having to use an a roundabout way to um, stand, as it were. So I don't think it would go to the point where you've got a presidential candidate in jail, uh, which would be amazing <laughs> uh, sort of make an interesting history. Um, now, I don't see that, but I see them trying to sort of brand him. So he can't stand. We, it can't be done. You know, this is this is a Nancy Pelosi sort of attitude to things. You know, we, we're going to indict you before you've even got started. You know, we're going to we're going to. Um, uh, uh, challenge the presidency right from the start before it's even even begun. You know the impeachment. You remember all that, all that impeachment stuff. So now I'm Trump is not. I'm not saying Trump's a Gandhi, or he's a good man necessarily. Um, but in many ways, he's kind of the only card that's in play against some of the dangerous forces that are happening in the world. Um, and I think you've got serious problems, not just in America, but everywhere, very serious problems where democracy is very much under threat. And it's being under threat, I feel, because not just internal forces, people who want to um, uh, control the world clandestinely, you know, this is the deep state idea. I think some of that goes a bit too far, but there definitely are forces ar around that are, are trying to... Um, and very strong left-wing forces, as we Marxist force type of style forces, forces actually, that are trying to undermine um, society and undermine um, democracy as we know it. And a lot of this comes down to what's going on because a war is being fought. A war, a war is being fought in in Ukraine, but the war is bigger than that. Really, that's just what we see of it. That's the tip of the iceberg. A war is being fought between America and the Western, as it were, powers against both Russia and China. 
and it's all being fought in secret. And Iran come to that as well. And even others, you know, Pakistan as well, perhaps. But there's, there's others that are all there working together to try to bring it down. And one of the ways to bring the world down is to get us to destroy ourselves, to cause big social division. Look what's happening in France at the moment. Um, people are arguing about pensions. And it's a very strong um, argument that pensions should go up and people pension and age should be extended but the French are saying no but there's unrest there not just because of that there's other factors behind it and I feel it's being stirred up there's people pouring petrol on the fires that's why peaceful demonstrations can turn violent very quickly anywhere in the world and we're all at risk and that's why America has to be um the carry the baton for the world because you know, there's no other country strong enough now to do that you know, Britain used to do it a long time ago, did it badly, people might argue. But now we if we want the sort of values that many of us feel are important, uh, we have to turn to America. And this is why this is such a um, dangerous thing. You know, and I, and I look at all this whole business. Um, it reminds me of what happened here in the UK when we had all the people arguing about them. We, we had a pond with a duck. Uh, hut in it that someone was claiming as an expense, you know, housing, you know, so you put the housing for the ducks. And there was a big hoo-ha about that. And of course, that was right, because it was um, uh, it was misusing the system. But when you think about the $130,000, that hush money that was paid to Stormy, um, Stormy Daniels, isn't it? When you think about that, and you compare that to the billions of dollars that were spent on that campaign in 2016, which Trump won, um, it's, it's, it's like, I mean, it sounds awful, but it sounds, it's like petty cash, uh, compared to the amount that was being spent on everything. So was it just, um, hush money being used? And I don't agree with the idea of hush money, but you know, what, in terms of just looking at this coldly, was this just a small amount of money in their, in their terms that had not been sort of thought about because it was done quickly. And, um, uh, and therefore now it's being used as the um, Achilles heel to try to bring down um, not just the Republican Party, but the whole of the American politics. Now, I so I think this is what I was saying before. I, I feel that Trump has to, will do something. He will stand for 2024. Of course, he's already said that. And I said he would. I think ultimately he'll win. But he will win in an unusual way. It will have something to do with a second person almost being standing in on his behalf. He may have to do something rather clever. I don't know what it is. And I've said it involves a woman, someone black, someone who reminds me of Candace Owens. Uh, it may not be her. It's someone of that quality, of that nature, that ability to speak, that ability to present themselves, who will um, maybe even be in almost like, OK, you stand, but I'll be the power in the glove of the puppet, as it were. And we agree to that right from the start. And, the, and it's clear to the public voting that it will be that way. So I feel something like that will happen. When Trump goes to um, is indicted, he's going to make a huge thing of this. This is going to be absolute theatre, absolute incredible. Thing. It's, I, it's going to be like Rocky on the steps um, in 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 in. Um, Philadelphia he did that, didn't he? Uh, when, when the Rocky on the Steps sort of scene, I see. Big show. Uh, this is not gonna, this is not gonna be I'm being indicted. This is gonna be this is the American people against the establishment. So Trump is like it or not, you know, I'm not saying this is right or wrong. You know, I've got to try to be neutral with this, but I see a huge um public display um of this going on. Um and he I I I think he will get I think he will get a criminal record of some sort, because if they don't do it this way, they're going to do it another way. They're going to do it with um, any of these other ones I've mentioned, like the, the uh, Georgia election bribe or the um, insurrection. Or They keep going at him. You know, and they're bigger charges, actually. But they were trying to get them on a small one. All they need is a criminal record. And I think that's what they're going to go for. And, and they're going to they're going to have, really going to have a shot at doing this. I think they might succeed, but it will backfire in an absolutely huge way. Enormous backfire, because I think people who are undecided voters, because I think most people um, 
in America have made their mind up about what side they stand or the fence on the main divides in America. But those important people in the middle are going to start saying, hey, I'm getting a feeling that we are getting stitched up. And I don't like Trump, but what else choice have we got? We're going to have to get this system back and we're going to have to start sorting out um, the problems with China. Because, as I said in my other predictions, huge increase of stress with China coming, huge increase of stress coming with Russia and a huge increase of stress coming for the combined powers of Russia and China working together. Right. Uh, publicly, they say, oh, we're not really doing that behind the scenes. They are. And this is something I spoke about a long, long time ago, years ago. I was saying that I saw Russia, China getting together against America, uh, ultimately being conflicts there and um, troubles ahead in that area. Right. So um, I, and so he will stand in 2024. Um, I believe he will win ultimately. I, I don't think he'll be standing against Biden because I think Biden will be gone before the elections in 2024. I don't think they'll, they'll have him as the um, candidate. Um, the main deciding factor in that election is going to be not just the economy, which will have its problems, but also the Russia-China uh, coming together. And I see a bit of a economic um downturn just before the 24, 2024 elections, particularly in um, cryptocurrencies. Um, so be cautious at that time, at the beginning of 2024, um, when cryptocurrencies are going to start to take a dive. And this will all have an effect on the um, elections coming up there. So there can be a lot of economic strain at that time. Um, but um, and I, and I think there will be a, a sort of a general sort of um, changing of public opinion in many ways worldwide. Um, we've had already a lot of divisions, but I, I think the, the things such as and Trump's taking these on things such as woke, as we call it now, uh, things such as this sort of arrogance of Hollywood and all that, uh, things such as the um, undermining of basic clean or clear education, you know, um, all those things are going to become huge issues um, and are still that way already, but they're going to become bigger and bigger and bigger. And of course, artificial intelligence, which is in the news at the moment, is also going to be another factor where we start to look at voting systems and we're looking at um, uh, bots that could be um, even now can be used to um, swing public opinion in, in wrong directions by you know external forces, not necessarily American forces. So I, I, this is how I see it going. Now, so those, so I do, you know, I think Trump will win. He will win the 2024. Um, uh, Biden will be gone beforehand. Um, that will be done in a way where he'll have a front man or woman, as I've talked about here. And uh, it will bring um, a, 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 a sort of a re-looking re at the way the world is. But then I had one other thing that I have to say to you, which I am um, concerned about. You know, I, I often talk about my dreams and sometimes dreams seem to give us insights. So as I went to sleep last night, I thought, well, I wonder if I, any, I'll pick anything up when I wake up about um, Donald Trump and any of that. So you, you can do what you can call like seed the unconscious mind to ask it, can it give me an answer? Now, it, it could come from my unconscious mind, of course. I woke up and I was dreaming about the shooting of John Lennon. And I thought, what was all that about? John Lennon? And I saw, like, and, and, and it had that rocky sort of theme of the steps, right? So that John Lennon wasn't shot on a big set of steps like Rocky scene. Um, so I saw that. And I, and I thought to myself, what, what does that mean? Why do I dream that? Is there going to be an assassination of some sort that could um, swing this? somehow and i thought john lennon why john lennon and i thought oh, could it be a pun for lenin could it be a pun for lenin um because and then i thought about it afterwards and i thought well actually if i was putin or i was xi jinping and i wanted to see america weakened and the west weakened generally what we want to do is have them tear themselves apart 
And what better than an assassination attempt? It doesn't have to be on a president. It could be on a contender um, such as Trump. Um, it, and America would tear itself apart because immediately you'd say it was the Democrats that did it or someone that was it, you'd think it was somebody that was trying to swing the election from internally. So that was my thoughts. And I do know that Nostradamus did talk a bit about something similar um, that I mentioned on The Unexplained. Do you remember the programmes The Unexplained that I was on when I talked about Nostradamus? They're showing, I still think, um, in most countries still. Um, and I spoke about that. So could that be something? Could there be a possible attempt or assassination? You only need an attempt. You only need an attempt. And it could throw things into major disarray, couldn't it? And we'd all be, well, not all of us, but we would see people taking guns over something like that, wouldn't you? You know, and what a way to to bring down the West without with only one shot. It happened to create the First World War. One shot started the First World War with the assassination of the Archduke Ferdinand. Um, and so it's been happened before. It could happen again. Um, so those are my thoughts. I, 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 that's my main thoughts for the for the time being. I'll obviously need to make more predictions about these, but the main predictions being today that Trump will be elected in 24, 2024. Trump will be elected in 2024. He will have a running mate of some sort, which will be female, black, um, who will um, help him to get through. He will have a criminal record of some type, but he will win nonetheless. Um, there may be an assassination attempt on Donald Trump, and Biden will not be standing in that election. In fact, I think he may even be taken ill before that election or something um, may happen to him to stop him actually standing as well. I don't know as yet who will be against him. Uh, I don't know. To be honest, I couldn't tell you because I, I'm British. I don't know enough. Of, I don't know enough about these things. <laughs> uh, I only get my insights and then, um, you know, struggle with what we see on the news to, to be able to see if I can make it make it connect with what I've seen and what I can understand is happening. OK, there we go. So I'll take a few of your questions now, guys. Thanks for coming in. Um, I can't promise I know enough about American stuff to be able to answer all of them, but we'll have a. Um, uh, OK, so I feel that some. Um, let's just see some of your comments. I Put your questions up now because I I'm, you put them up again if you haven't put them up already, because I won't see a lot of them. Um, I did see some. Um, what was that? So I saw a couple of. I can't answer questions about India and cash India at the moment. <laughs> thanks for the thanks for the donation, though. Um, they tried to assassinate Ronald Reagan, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, of course. And and I mean, how many assassination attempts has there already been? Um, uh, I think there was even attempts on Trump as well, wasn't he? Um, is Trump fulfilling a past life karma? Uh, yes. Uh, I have spoken about that before, Viv. Um, I had, I looked, I found some of his nadis. Well, it's the Brighu Samhita on him, not the nadi itself. Um, and it seemed to suggest that Trump had been quite a holy man in the past in India, had been a Shivite, and um, but he'd become a drunkard uh, and spent the temple money. Most of us have something negative in the past, but I notice in his life now, he does not touch alcohol, which may be a hang on from that period. Um, and a lot of what he's doing may be a return to, he kind of has almost a, a religious attitude to these things, like an evangelist, almost the way he speaks. Um, so it wouldn't surprise me that that is perhaps part of his um, background there. Shining Sun, may I follow? Uh, on, this will be, keep try to keep to the topics if we can, guys. Break. Okay. Um, let's grab a few of them. I'm not a fan of Trump's pers personally, but I love how he fights for American Americans. And actually, that I see is that is perhaps what you've said there is the key to it all, actually, because people who aren't particularly a fan of him. I mean, as a personality, he doesn't appeal to everybody, does he? But the middle ground people who are the most important ones, you think, who the hell is fighting for the values that I kind of believe in, you know? Um, or kind of believe him because he's gone too far with it for most people. But then the other side has gone even more. You know, we feel like it's being kind of 
um, undermined. And of course, people are saying this too because um, Biden is is like he is. You know, I mean, you it's laughable, isn't it? You know, of the way he's gone. Um, go on, let's have some opposite views. You know, I don't want just all people saying yes, this is right. I want to see the other views as well. I know a lot of you are saying that you love Trump. But what about, you know, am I wrong? You know, am I wrong with this, what I'm saying? I'm trying to look at this as a trying to see what's going to happen. You know, I'm trying to do this without. I quite like Trump, but I can't say I, I've got to try to be neutral. That's what we need to have a neutral view of. It. We're going to get a true insight into what's going to happen. Yeah, Christian values, middle class America. This is right. This, and also it's the middle classes of being the ones that pay all the taxes in the world mainly. Um, and they're the ones that are being squeezed on all direction. Oh, and jealousy bits. Good to see you, Pat. You always ask good questions. I don't even need to read yours. I'm not a fan of political general or politicians generally, sorry. And I don't really follow or support Trump. However, this looks like a blatant attempt to pervert the outcome of the 2024 election. <clears throat> how many people are thinking that very thought put your comments below please afterwards is this really the way it's going is it a perversion of justice or are we all sort of being hyped up by the media and by psychics you know i mean it to me it seems self-evident um and, and it's, it's like in plain view that this is happening and this agility bits that i know is pat because she's one of our patrons um uh, and, the, you know, we're not Americans, you know, I mean, but from the outside, it certainly seems that way. And DeSantis, you see, he's already he's already fallen victim to his own hubris. I think hubris or hubris is I don't I never quite know how to pronounce that. Um, he, he, he's fallen victim to his own ego. Um, and this is something I said would happen. And Trump, of course, popped the balloon on that a lot. OK, any more thoughts? Because. Just agree. Uh, you, you need actual questions, guys, and things. Um, will the woke values get overturned? I think they will in due course. I, I think we're getting a world. Um, it, we're all getting exhausted with the whinging that go, it's become associated with what was originally an idea about sort of togetherness and um, common uh you know, looking for the common ground in, in, in all the races and peoples of the world. And it's turned into a sort of a whinge fest. Um, and I think it's become very dangerous personally. I, I should do some more videos on woke. I will uh, in much more detail because I think it's an, an illness. It's a dangerous thing um, and it's affecting. It's an illness that hits the young. And um, I, and, I, and I think it's something that does need it does need a lot of common sense. We've got another one coming in here. Looks Trump didn't release Julian Assange when he had the chance. He's not for the people at all. He's as bad as Biden when you look at him properly. There you go. That's an interesting thought. What do you think about that, guys? That's an that's an interesting thought. He didn't release Julian Assange. Um, Assange, I would have thought would have been released by now, really. But um, no, he's still. Um, uh, you know, he seems to have made enemies on both sides of the fence, as it were. Uh, will our crypto do well this year before the 2024 dump? A uh, yes, I think it's all right up until the early months of um, January and and February of 2024. I I see that there'll be that's the time to get out. <laughs> actually, um, if I'm right and he gets in, I think he he will get a certain amount of respect back. But it's not about respect from the world. I think he gets respect from world leaders because they're scared of him. Putin, I think, knows that Trump would press the button if it came to it. You know, um, Xi, uh, Xi Jinping is is scared of him. Um, <coughs> of course, we've got all the North Korea issue. You know, um, that, that that they know that the man, when he says he's going to do something, he does something. And I think um, what America's got to get is self-respect again. And I don't think Trump can really restore it because th there's too many too much divide but i think he will be the person that will help america to find its place on the world stage again and you can't have a good democracy or a good society without it also being prosperous and um i think he will help to restore america's um financial um 
position again. If you'll be pulling it out of a difficult position uh, by the time we get to to the 2024 election, and it will be another one of those things that will make people think, "Hmm, we need someone that knows what they're doing," even though he's a bit of a high risk taker. All right. Just a few more of your thoughts. Uh, uh, he's being persecuted. Yeah. Um, the banks are collapsing now. Yeah, the banks are. I think. Uh, I mean. I, we've had real problems with the Swiss banks, um, but even so, this is and, and this Silicon Valley bank. There's a real serious problems of banking dangers and something else I spoke about in the past. I, I spoke about the danger of the Italian banks collapsing with that European banks collapsing. Um, and we also have uh, quite sort of unstable things even in China. So um, I think by I've got a feeling that we're going to be seeing quite a big financial crisis. I think it's going to be into 2024. I don't think it's this year, but I think we're, we're going to be seeing um, uh, much more to come. As as we know, they don't tell you, do they? They don't tell you what's what. The whole thing with banking, it's like a casino. Um, it's, it's become. And it's about making people have the confidence to keep putting their money into these crazy pyramid schemes. So it's a dodgy world we're still in. We're not out of the troubles yet. I think I think we start to see a turning point much later, around about 2025, 2026 time. But um, I think the world will start to find its way again, you know. And, yes, you're saying about the <coughs> border problems. Again, this is, you know, it's the same problem we have here in the UK. Um <clears throat> We've got people trying to get across the channel. I expect the Americans have seen that. Um, uh, and people are resentful to that. That's what Brexit was all about. Brexit had nothing to do with um, uh, being part of the European Union. I think most people felt it was quite good being part of the European Union. It was about the leaky borders. Um, and it was about the loss of control over the legal system. And that's how they pitched it when they sold the idea of Brexit. Uh, and um, that's so it wasn't about Europe. It was about these other issues and often voting can often be pushed those type of things like an abuse of the borders um, and uh, abuse of uh, uh, core values, perhaps, you know, um, can can often swing elections. Although it can often go very strange ways, you know, it can often go very strange ways. But I, I think that this is this is the way um, the way things are going to go. And, and like I've said about I said about the f food crisis that we, we have this year, didn't I? And we're starting to get a lot of that here in the UK, food shortages. Um, we're getting lots of problems with food. I've said already in my predictions earlier that there can be food shortages. So money problems, food shortages, cost of living crisis, uh, leaky borders, all those and, and, a, and a terrifying um, world stage at the moment. Uh, in these times, people want leadership they look to the biden particularly and they see weakness and the world leaders look to him and all the particularly the bad ones look to him and see aha opportunity um and i think we've been um we've been in a we're, we're in a very dangerous position anyway i think i've i've gone on enough now um i hope you guys have uh, enjoyed this and i thank you for joining me today um I'm just looking for my ending very shortly. Has it gone? Yes, there it is. So um, thanks for joining us. Uh, Jane and I will be doing some more, uh, another show tonight because it's our Friday night show. So come and have a look at the Friday night show. Uh, I'll choose a different topic. If you actually, if you've got any ideas, you can put them in the, in the comments below. I might catch it before I go live. Uh, I'm not quite sure what topic to do. Um, but I felt I had to do a Trump one. And thanks for your for your questions and put your comments below. What do you think about this situation? Is it a stitch up? Is it a stitch up? Um, if you, even if you're from overseas from America, put it in. What do you think? What does it look like to you? Or are we all wrong? Is this justice being done? And is it rightfully being done? And, and should this be done in the way it's being done? Okay, thanks for joining me. See you next time. Bye for now.
if you look back at my earlier predictions, and in particular the predictions I made on the, the newspaper, The Sun's um, website, I did actually say on there, the actual words were, there will be a flu epidemic links to bioterrorism. My thoughts are that Liz Truss will make it to the final, um, be, the, be the next PM. I think she will actually have a final battle between her and Rishi Shunak. We've not seen the full end of Boris Johnson either, I tell you. But Rishi Shunak actually will eventually, I feel, be the next leader of the Conservatives. So I think there's going to be a few conflicts that Britain's going to be drawn into, including um, I think Russia is going to take some moves against Ukraine. I think she will make it past her platinum jubilee, which comes up this year. But I think after that, we'll see a sudden and quick deterioration in the Queen's health. And um, I think I think we might lose the Queen towards the end of 2022. There's going to be a huge, huge backlash um, uh, from over the Netflix programs and screening because I feel it comes out in at a bad time. Charles will come to become King Charles, um, but his reign, I feel, will be short. And funnily enough, actually, an another royal prediction uh, came true only yesterday, um, which surprised me really because it was such a weird prediction I'd made. Um, I predicted in my earlier videos from uh, from 2021 for 2022 um, that the um, that the king the, the, well, I called it said Prince Charles at the time because he wasn't actually king at that time but I said that um, Prince Charles would be hit by an egg and of course there it is all in the press today 